everybody, it's Miss Gina, and I have an exercise today for you that's going to take all the parts that we've been working on and put it into one for you. I made some notes so I wouldn't forget anything, um, but today we're outside on our porch, and lots of times this is where I do this. So find your spot that makes you feel good. Turn your backyard into a playground if you can. Um, so I come out here, and even if it's cold, you know, a sweatshirt, a roof over my head, gloves, um, if it works well. So again, find the spot that works good for you. Um, and I have a riddle for you, okay? What does 30, 20, 10, and 2 mean? Lots of riddles going on right now on Facebook. Anybody know? Okay, well that's what we're going to call our exercise. 30, 20, 10, and 2. Because we are going to do 30 seconds of, of level 3 intensity um, type of movement. And then we're going to do 20 seconds of a level 6 intensity. We're going to do 10 seconds of a level 9 intensity. And then 2 minutes of like our yoga, tai chi, all that stuff we've been doing. Okay? So your level 3, my level 3 intensity, it's all different. So what I'm showing you here, you pare it down or you bump it up wherever you're at with it. I don't want somebody who's new to exercise to look at this and say, oh my gosh, that's not for me. Well, you know what? You can start in a chair if you need to, honestly, okay? I've seen people do that and work their way up. So it's all good, okay? Um, it's all about honoring our body, right? Listening to what's good for us and moving forward. So some tools that you're going to need. Um, I have some weights here. Um, ones, twos, threes. Um, if you don't have weights, use cans, okay? Those are close to one, okay? I have a Pilates ball I'm going to show you how to use, and I have a box of tissues, okay? Because how many times in the middle of this, when I got the stopwatch running, I do not want to go running for a tissue, right? You know, you don't want to go like that, right? Okay, so tissues are important. All right, and let's see, so our tools. I just wanted to tell you, this stepper right here was my Grammy's, and she used it to the day she was 94 up to the age of 94 and what we did for her was we put chairs on both sides that she, she would hold on to the chair or I'm sorry over here we had the chair she would step up and she would step down she would step up and down and when you want to switch the leg you come up you tap and you go up on the other side okay so you can use a stair at your home okay if you don't have a stepper maybe invest in one they're awesome you can do all kinds of stuff with them all right um, and just continuing on the story with my grandma when I was teaching classes she was 97 and still sitting in my class exercising so you have to exercise as long as you can if you want to have a good quality of life okay all right um, in this sequence of movements I so appreciate because who in here or who listening wakes up in the morning like oh my gosh I have so much to do I don't know what to do I know I should exercise I don't know what to do I got so many ideas Sometimes I'm like that, and this one is just perfect for me because I get to do my quiet and I get to do quick. In 15 minutes, I'm done. And I tell you what, this has made a huge difference for me in my fitness level. I found it in this book called The Unbreakable Brain, okay? And what they did is they did a study with um, runners who were very fit, and it helped them. And then they thought, well, let's share this with inexperienced exercisers. So again, you start where you're at, and people saw a decrease in their weight, their blood pressure, their cholesterol levels. So it, you know, it's it's really pretty good. Short burst of intensity, okay. Um, and like I said, I get up in the morning, and I'll just be totally honest with you. You know, um, my personality, I deal with anxiety sometimes, and if I don't move, it's not going to be a good day. And this one is awesome. Even if I'm getting a little anxious, and I come out and start it, it all goes down. So, you know, I would encourage families to do this. Moms who are home with their kids struggling. You know, if you get a kid moving before you ask them to do their homework or their schoolwork, you might see a difference, okay? Get them moving, do some crossbody, get them in a better place, okay? And how often to do the book says three times a week. Um, I actually do it just about every day, but I like to exercise, so that's just me. And again, we don't have any music. And that's been pretty cool for me. It's been freeing to not have to worry about creating playlists and all that because 
Now I just do things and I pretty much I'm more focused on my breath and on my movement than what's playing on the song. Alrighty, so here we go. I'm just going to share a lot of things while we do this, okay? I'm going to turn my um, stopwatch on. <clears throat> and here we go. So, 30 seconds of a level three intensity. So we're going to start with our cross body, right? We always do that. And here's our puppet. And back to cross body. And puppet. And let's go across here. All the way up to the shoulder, big march. Okay, level there's 20 seconds, we're gonna bump it up. And I got some notes here, okay? We're just gonna jog the first time. So I can watch out at my pond, listen to the birds, watch my dog, it's all good. All right, about four more seconds. And we are going to sprint fast as you can. Everybody's different. Sprint, 10 seconds. Okay, almost there, you got this. quiet activity okay so some more cross body and what I like to do is I'm only gonna do this a couple of times but I take my pulse for 10 seconds to see if I'm where I want to be okay and yes I'm right where I want to be and I'm gonna post that chart for you so that you know what to do with it, okay? It's 10 seconds, you take it for 10 seconds. And then you look at my chart for your age, and it shows you like intensity, 55%, maximum heart rate up to 85, safe. Okay, and I know what I want my number to be. Yours is gonna be different. All right. We're right at the two minute mark and we're going up to three with our quiet activity. So let's start with one is fun, number. We learned this in the first Tai Chi video I shared with you. See my heart rate still. <laughs> and bring your breath in. And bring that breath all the way through you. Two is shoe. Heel thump. You come up and down. And up and down. So the heel thump is really good for your digestion, your elimination, for your nervous system. It's very grounding. Two is shoe creating some grounding chi. One was fun. We created some nourishing chi with our breath. Two was shu. All right, three is tree. Here's our wiggle wiggle. Comforting chi. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Bring it up through your arms, down through your body. Get ready. We have about 10 minutes or 10 seconds here to go. This time we're going to do our modified jumping jacks and I'm going to use my two, my one pound weights. Here we go. Remember doing these in that one? series. Nice and strong. Let's go. Four, three, two. Bring it up. Pull it down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and march it out. Okay, we're going to go on the stepper. So if you don't have a stepper that you can go up and over, just go up to one side. Come forward if you want. We're doing 10 seconds of this, or 20, I'm sorry, 20 seconds. This is our level six. Here comes our level nine. You could just jog in place if you want to, right? You'll figure out what you want to do. but I'll feel it and it's, uh, see it's going up. All right, so we are just gonna tap and swing here for a little bit so I can catch my breath. All right. So we're going up to the six minute mark with our quiet activity. All right, so we were on three was tree. Four is core, so we're gonna push away. We're creating our strengthening chi, push away. Bring it back together. 
is my back in. Okay, the birds, so pretty. Push away. Strength and energy. Let's come up here. Back in. Pull my breath out. Pull my breath out. Let's go ahead and take that down. Five is alive. Our outflowing tea. What we give away. You can stand still. You can walk around like I do. You can walk with it. Five is alive. Our outflowing tea. What we give away, right? Let's take it to the side. So opposites again. We're gonna do our rocky when we kick it up again. That was one of them I shared. Got some horses in the background there. Cool thing about being outside, right? Alright. Now for Rocky, I use my three pound weights. We got about 10 seconds here. Just walk it out, tap it out. Remember we were on five with our Tai Chi series. Okay, here we go. Rocky. You come down, shoulders, pull back, bring it up, drop it down, up on your toes and down. Squat, down, pull back, bring it up, drop it down, up on your toes and down. Squat, shoulders, pull back, push away, drop it down, up and down. Squat, shoulders, pull back, push up, drop it down. Got about one more set of these. Here we go. Strong move coming up. And we are just going to run in place for this one. This is our intensity level of six. And next time, we have about five seconds. We're going to jump rope over here with no rope. Okay, here we go. Jump rope. I use the pad underneath my feet. It's just a Pilates mat. I double up to help push in. You could do burpees here if you want it, you know? You're gonna find out what works for you. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. And now here's where those switches come in very handy. All right, we have two minutes here, guys. And we were on five is alive, six is thick. Here's our connecting chair room. Forward and back. And the book actually said they just were still for the two minutes. We're going to do a little bit of movement, okay? Bring it forward. Your feet stay totally connected. So this shows you like where your center of gravity is, right? Doesn't take much forward or backward to get you out of balance, right? Okay, so what I'm going to share with you here is this is called Needle and Cotton, and this is a Tai Chi um, visual tool. Needle and Cotton. And the needle is our core, where we're real strong. The cotton's all this stuff going on around here. So needle and cotton for this one is we're real strong. And we don't want to go out into the cotton with this one or we're going to fall, okay? But say, if I did needle and cotton with uh, waving our flying crane, strong to the core as I move the arms out there, right? We're going up to nine minutes before we kick it in again, so we about to have half a minute here. This time we're going to do some squats and some push-ups. Get that lower body flying crane. All right. And six is thick. Oh, we did six is thick, right? Seven is heaven. Here we go. Creating some gratefulness, G. Okay, everybody, when we come down, say something that you're grateful for. Right, time to do our squats. We're into our next 30 second. So I'm just going to come down. You don't have to use weights if you want. Remember in the squat you want to push back, sit back. If you're using weights you want to keep them close. When you come up, power into those heels. Okay, done a few of those. Let's do a few push-ups. You can do your push-ups on the floor. You can do them on a wall. You can do them on a kitchen counter. You can do them on your porch railing. All right, here's our 20 seconds, and what are we doing? We're just gonna jog again. Actually, I'm 
I'm gonna come back here. Let's do our stepper. So you see, you can just do this with a step. This is an intensity level of six. Okay, lost my screen. Okay. Here we go, we're gonna jump rope again. 10 seconds. Woo. I might go a little over 10 sometimes. Okay, nice job. Walk it out. We're going up to 12 now. We have two minutes. Quiet. We just have one more of the bumping it up. So two minutes of quiet time. And you know, I find my heart rate stays up for quite a while when I'm done with this. I even get sweaty. Whoa. All right. So we were on seven. Fifth heaven. Creating our gratefulness chi. Every time you come down, say something you're grateful for. What a great way to start your day, right? Start it out in a positive note. So if you're doing this with your kids, you could just take turns having them say, I am thankful for. out again. That was seven. Eight is gate. Here's where we did our waving hands in the clouds. So soft hands. You know, watch your fingers. There's my Piper dog. And there's the cow. <laughs> Lots of activity out here tonight, which I love. Usually I'm out here in the morning when the sun's coming in. It's just beautiful. You know what's really cool about getting that morning light and it helps with your circadian rhythms. Helps you sleep better. Get some sunlight in the morning. We're gonna take a breath in here and relax. And a breath in here and relax. Let's everybody center together, bring it up and bring it down. We're gonna end with just some jogging. We have about 10 seconds yet, okay? So that was eight. Nine is bring your breath in. We're gonna push away what we don't need, right? And we're gonna bring it on down. Bring your breath in. Push away what you don't need in there. Let your light shine, everybody. Let your light shine. Okay, here we go, 30 seconds. We're just gonna lightly jog. We're out for a run. Checking everything out. Remember, this is a, uh, an intensity level of three. So see here, I'm gonna show you where you don't need anything. Okay, we're gonna bump it up a little bit. Look, intensity level of six. I'm gonna come over here and get some cushion underneath here. Bring it on. Keep going. This is our last set, everybody, okay? Remember, you do what you can. We're all different. And we have 10 seconds. Quick, go, go. You got it. You got it. Go as fast as you can. We're all different. You're almost there. Remember, this is your last one. You gotta keep going, we're almost there. Woo! All right, nice job, everybody. Now we have two seconds of cool down, or two minutes of cool down. Now, if I, I'm gonna take my heart rate. Just see where it always goes up. Oh, that's awesome. That is right where I want to be each time. It keeps going up, but it's still in the safe zone going, right? All right. Okay, where were we at? We did nine with shine, bringing our breath in. We pushed away what we don't need. And bring it on down. Bring your breath in. And everybody, let your light shine, right? Kind of spin. So here's where we're just going to think about all of them that we did. This actually in Tai Chi is called polishing the table, right? So you imagine that big, beautiful table in front of you. We're going to think about all one through ten that we did, okay? One, we created nourishing chi. Two, grounding chi. Three, comforting chi. Four, strengthening chi. Five, outflowing chi. What is it you want to give away? Six, centering chi. Seven, 
playfulness, specialness to space skeleton here. Time, protective to, and tag the spin. So just put them all together. Everybody bring your breath in. We're going to flip our palms out. A yoga move. We're going to swan dive down. Push your hips back. Tuck your belly lift. Bend your knees. Bring your breath all the way up the front. While we stretch through the front, that helps with releasing like any inflammation you might have. Stretches everything. We're going to bring it on down. Carry the breath all the way up. Push away. Bring it all the way down. Remember, tiger, everybody, we come up, we're going to bring it down. Here's where we nourish our organs by squishing them. Tiger claws, we're going to carry like an imaginary jar up with our fingertips, soften, bring it on down, carry it on up. Imagine that your hands are paint brushes, right? Paint a picture here on the way down. You know, you might have an art lesson. Maybe you could be thinking about what you need to create in art. Let's stay up and bring that on down. Now, I want you to pretend like you're a puppet and somebody took your hand up, breath in, and now they just let it go. Like you got a string on your hand, breath in, watch the hand, and down. Let's not forget about our neck. Look to the side. You find your stretch point, you don't push beyond it, never with stretches. You, it feels good. Focus on your breath. We're going to come over to the other side, find your stretch point, breathe into it. Last thing we're going to do is, this is a Pilates ball, okay? And you're going to put it behind your back. Give yourself a little back massage there. Get it on your hips there a little lower. Tuck your glutes there. All right, now I'm going to work with my shoulders a little bit. Shoulders, neck. Ooh, people really, really like this one. I get over there on my shoulder, maybe my neck, mid back. How about the mid back? Don't go there. All right. Hoping it's starting to rain out there, which is cool to be outside. The water, the grass. Okay, everybody, we're gonna center together. Take your breath in and relax all the way down. All right. I hope this is helpful for you. Jerry, show them my chart there. Create your own little chart. We did five different things where we did a 30, 20, a 10, and then a two minute rest. It helps me to kind of have a plan. So notice we um, added in the jumping jacks that we learned in one of my things, Rocky there, squats. We talked about squats. So you can write that one down or create your own. Okay. And I'll see you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.